Hi everyone. I wanted to share a little project that we started working on with past clients of ours. And I will say, I always feel blessed and honored when clients ask us back into their home and trust us with their spaces. So this space is a laundry room. That's it, little simple laundry room. Right now it has a, a formal coat closet. It has another closet in the corner, which is more of a catch-all. It has a washer and dryer and a sink. And right now it is definitely not functioning for them and it's definitely dated. So what I've done is I've come up with two design options based off their as is, so what their house looks like right now, that space. And then we just had a meeting and we took a little bit of option one and a little bit of option two and now have created what we are working on towards our final plan. So I wanna show you what it looks like and what it's like to work with a designer. So come along. So right now this is what their as is laundry room looks like. So when you come from the rest of the house, you enter, there is a door. There are three doors. There's this door. This is the man door leading to the side of the house. And this is the door leading to the garage. So when you walk in here, there's a washer and dryer, there's a sink, there's three cabinets up above. There is a crazy corner storage cabinet. Then there's this long wall. And then there's a coat closet here. So in option number one, what I did for my clients, I've made this door invisible just so I can get a camera view, is I actually moved things around. I put the sink closest to here, to closest to this area. I kept the wall but moved it over. Then I put the washer and dryer and then I did a whole bunch of cabinets, a place for the linen cloth, um, for the ironing board, excuse me, and then another tall storage cabinet. And one of their requests was having a nice big seating area, a bench area and then they have a place for mitts and hats and things like that. So let's take a look. I have to push my camera out here just to get the whole space. We'll take a look. So this was one option, and when I do options, normally I say I do white, but I wanted to give my client a really good feel of what the laundry room could look like. So over on this wall is the sink cabinet, the washer and dryer, and then underneath here, I left that open for a laundry basket or a sorting basket, but lots of hanging space. And then when you come around this corner, because this is a little bit of a pinch point, I've only made these cabinets 15 inches deep. And then I left this open shelving just to give it a little bit more of a roomy feel. And then I've tucked the ironing board in here. And then this of course is another storage. And then over here is the bench. You can see that there's storage up above, a shelf, some coat hooks, and of course lots of room to sit. So that's option one. Option two, I moved the sink back to roughly where the location is right now. A little bit less of a hanging area. Um, still cabinetry over here, but I closed it off just so they could get the idea of what it looks like closed. And then here I put a deeper cabinet, something to give them a little bit more storage. And then same thing again here is the bench. So I chose different colors, different materials, just to give a different feel. And this is what this ended up looking like. So what I wanted to do was create a sorting area. So this cabinet would be the depth of um, this cabinet would be the depth of a laundry basket, and we'd have to know that ahead of time. And then these would all be narrow, so 15 inches deep. These would be 12. I also left all this wall open just so it doesn't feel so cold. We are going to going to look at a darker color. So this is um, what it, it's starting to look like. And then of course over here was the bench area as well. So when we looked at those two options, we went in the laundry room, we stood there, we discussed things. What they really want after trying to sort through everything is they really want a spot for a closed cabinet to hang things, but they also want a bench. So in this, you'll see here, this is that door. I'm gonna make this, actually I'm gonna open this up and just make that invisible just so I can shoot my camera um, so you can get a view of the whole space. So I've the, they like the idea of the sink not being close to the door, so I've put the washer and dryer back here, but we've eliminated this wall totally. The sink here, we've done closed cabinetry here. We've included uh, the space for the ironing board so that there's a dedicated space for it. And then we've also included the sorting. So we've taken a little bit of option one and a little bit of option two. What they wanted was they actually believe they do need a closed cabinet to hang things. So we need the closet, that cabinet at least 24 inches deep, even 24 and a half inches is preferred. And then um, a little bench. So we've changed the bench seating up just a little bit. But this is how the final plan is coming along. 
So again, I've changed colors. We talked about colors. We're probably going to be looking at some kind of blue, but the floor will dictate. They also have a front, they have a, um, excuse me, they have a washer and dryer that have all the, the knobs and things up here. So we're not going to do a, a countertop over this. Uh, if they go to resell, it's easy to put one in. We've got the sink here. We've left this little cabinet open just above the sink, but we've closed everything else in. Uh, the mister was saying, I don't want to see, I don't want to see stuff. And so they've closed it off. We included the, the open area for the ironing board as well as the sorting area. And then over on here, we've included, oops, I'm sorry, a smaller bench. And I still need to finish reconfiguring this. I think we're going to do a few drawers down there and I need to put some coat hooks in there. And then this is going to be, when you open it up, there'll be room to hang things. And then this will be drawers for their family. So we live in a place where we need hats and mitts and toques and, you know, more than half the year. So this is what the final plan is looking like. So now you've seen the process of how I'm working in this one laundry room for my clients. We've taken a little bit of option one, a little bit of option two, and now we're on to our final plan where I'll be able to take that and get quotes for this project and get this laundry room done for my clients. And that is how you renovate with confidence.